Hey Lennies and Bunny lovers, welcome back to the channel where all things bunny are made possible. There's so many misconceptions to this day about what rabbits should and should not eat, especially because of what is sold and marketed in a lot of pet stores that still hold antiquated views on bunnies. We know that our furry bun friends are herbivores and we can feed them all sorts of raw leafy greens some fruits in moderation, and let's not forget hay being 80% of their diet. Thanks to a complex system of gut flora, these bacteria have developed a beneficial mutual relationship with rabbits that help our fuzzy friends digest otherwise tough and resistant plant matter. But what about all the fruits, veggies, and other snacks that could make your rabbit very ill to the potential point of a death sentence? Let's take a look at the top fruits, veggies, and snacks that your rabbit should never eat. Before we hop right into this, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little bell to be notified every time we upload. Starting at number one, yogurt drops. We see a lot of these at the pet store. Rabbits lack the correct amount of lactase in their systems to properly digest dairy products. According to rabbit.org, research suggests that yogurt drops may contribute to lethal cases of enterotoxemia, a toxic overgrowth of bad bacteria in the intestinal tract. If you're looking for a healthy treat to feed your bunny, try a small slice of natural raw fruit, such as strawberry, banana, or blueberry. Grains and starches, including but not limited to bread, pasta, cereals, cookies, and crackers. Some rabbits go absolutely crazy for cereals, for example, and while it may be tempting to give them a little bit as a treat, these foods that are high in starches and sugar will only cause gut problems for your rabbit. Remember that rabbits need a high fiber diet, not a high carbohydrate diet. A rabbit's digestive system is not typically built for grains, and feeding them these starches could potentially lead to enterotoxemia or GI stasis. Number three, iceberg lettuce. Typically, most lettuces are appropriate for a rabbit except for this one, as it can contain lacticarium, a chemical that can be harmful to your bunny's health if ingested. Iceberg lettuce also contains mostly water and will add little to no nutrition to your rabbit's diet. Side effects can include diarrhea and physical weakness. Baby rabbits can even die from over-ingesting iceberg lettuce. Number four, chocolate. Chocolate is an absolute no-no for bunnies. As with dogs, chocolate has no place in your rabbit's diet. It contains two types of methylxanthines that are very harmful, theobromine and caffeine. The higher the cocoa content, the higher the concentration of methylxanthines. So, your rabbit eating dark chocolate would be considered a medical emergency. According to PDSA, symptoms of chocolate poisoning include diarrhea, restlessness, squirming when you try and touch their stomach, trembling and panting, and a high temperature. Number five, meat, fish, and eggs. As previously mentioned, rabbits eat a raw plant-based diet as herbivores. Rabbits' gastrointestinal tracts are designed to only break down vegetation and roughage. Though most rabbits would turn their nose up at a piece of steak or chicken, they do have a sweet tooth and some may find dairy products like yogurt drops enticing. Consumption of these products eventually lead to gastrointestinal upset and increase the risk of obesity or disruption of the microbiome. For these reasons, you should avoid feeding your rabbit any product containing meat, eggs, dairy, or any other animal proteins. Number six, mushrooms. Whether store-bought or found in the wild, mushrooms should not be fed to rabbits. They contain a variety of mycotoxins that remain present in the fungi, whether raw or cooked and are harmful to rabbits if ingested in large quantities. Some of the effects of mushroom toxicity can include diarrhea, organ damage, and neurological effects. Number seven, any food meant for other animals such as hamsters, dogs, cats, or birds. In multi-pet households, it's quite common for animals to share or steal each other's food, and some animals can eat such foods interchangeably. But rabbits' tummies are much more fragile, and while some of this food may not be toxic, you should not encourage this behavior with rabbits. 
foods meant for other animals can contain a mixture of high calories causing weight gain or ingredients that contain nuts, seeds, or are high in calcium for a bunny. Number eight, avocados. We as humans love our avocado toast, but you should be careful to not share that with your bunny. Avocado is a very dangerous food for rabbits. This is because it contains a toxic compound called persin. If your rabbit ingests too much persin, it will quickly develop breathing problems. This can lead to heart failure and eventual death in many cases. Number nine, house plants. It's safe to treat most house plants as being toxic to your rabbit, even if the plant you've purchased is assumed to be safe for your rabbit to consume. You can't guarantee whether or not it may have been exposed to any chemicals, either directly or indirectly, before you brought it home. As a result, it is generally best to keep all house plants well trimmed and out of reach from your curious little bunny. Number ten, beans. Beans are very high in protein and carbohydrates, leading to bloating, abdominal discomfort, and diarrhea. They also contain a high level of phosphorus and calcium and tend to be quite acidic, making them totally unsuitable to your rabbit's unique nutritional requirements. Coming in at 11, coffee. Rabbits are already on alert mode 24-7, even when you think they're sleeping. So we don't need to give them coffee, either brewed or still in bean form. It's toxic to them. It contains methylxanthines and caffeine. Not only do these cause a long list of gastric issues, but the ending is often the same. Death by heart arrhythmia or seizures. And before your rabbit's death, your rabbit would suffer from dehydration, diarrhea, tremors, and confusion. Not only that, but most coffee drinks are loaded with added sugars and sometimes cream. And as we know, all of those ingredients are on the no-no list as well. Number 12, onions, garlic, and other alliums. Thankfully, rabbits hate the smell of garlic and onion, but any members of the pungent smelling allium family can make your rabbit very sick if eaten by mistake. Rabbits don't have the digestive enzymes necessary to process them. Next, we have alcohol. Okay, this should be a no-brainer, right? Giving your rabbits alcohol is a form of abuse. Alcohol is even toxic to humans, so why would you give it to a rabbit? Some people might think it's funny or do it as a joke or give their rabbit a sip of their wine, but guys, let's just not go there. Let's just not give our bunnies alcohol, okay? Finally, potatoes. Save the french fries for yourself, not your bunny. A toxic compound called solanine makes green potatoes potentially deadly. Even if a potato is entirely ripe and free of the green that indicates the toxin, its nutrient value is unsuitable for rabbits. High in calories and consisting almost solely of carbohydrates in the form of complex starches, potatoes can also lead to GI stasis and negatively impact your rabbit's gut bacteria. Here's a good rule of thumb to all you bunny owners out there. If you have to question it, just don't do it. And if your bunny reacts negatively to accidentally ingesting any of the aforementioned foods, please do not wait to seek medical help. Take your rabbit to the nearest rabbit savvy vet. If you're aware of the classic bunny diet, which I have plenty of videos on, your rabbit should live a long and healthy life. And remember, sugar should only be fed in moderation. Our question of the day is, what is your bunny's favorite food? Comment below. As always, please like, subscribe, hit that little bell, and we'll see you all soon. Bye.